Oh man, you guys, it's going to be a great day in the shop. Today, we're going to be working on my 2017 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara, and we're actually going to be putting in a brand new Axelback exhaust system. It comes from Dynamax, got a great deal on it on Amazon, and I'm going to show you how to put it in. It's quick, it's easy, and you can do it yourself. First things first, we got to get this thing out of the box, so let's open this thing up, all right? Now we've got everything taken apart, let's check this all out. So we've got the actual muffler, that's the actual piece that's custom fit right there. A couple of basic hand tools, literally, I mean, I've got uh, something to pry, uh, pry things open with. I've got a 15 millimeter wrench, uh, some WD-40, a couple of uh, couple of gloves. And then inside of these boxes, let's actually pop one of these things open real quick. These are the tips that come with the kit. Get on out of there. There we go. Nice little tips. Oh, they've got a little logo on the end and everything, huh? Oh, heck yeah. Oh, that looks good. And then just the uh, instructions and the, there's a couple of clamps that are in here just for putting the tips on uh, and then for attaching the muffler up underneath the car. All right, let's get up underneath the Jeep here and take a look at the factory piece. This is the original muffler here and it's only a, um, it's a single uh, exhaust outlet. Uh, just here on the passenger side of the vehicle. We're actually going to have one here on this side, and we're going to have one over on the driver's side as well when we put this new one in. The removal of this piece, honestly, it just it couldn't be any easier. Let me see if I can get this thing right up in here. And I apologize if there's not a whole lot of light, but it's literally that bracket right there. We're going to undo that bracket, and we're going to pull this thing down and wiggle it loose. All right, one of the biggest pains in the butt in the automotive world are these guys. These rubber exhaust hangers, they just, I mean, they just suck. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, I, I don't have an extra set of hands as much as I'd like to have. And essentially, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to spray this down, some WD-40 on there, take the uh, screwdriver, wedge it up inside of there, and simply pry it off. There's one on either side. You pop those things loose, and the whole exhaust just wiggles right off. Uh. She goes. <laughs> 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 the crazy part about all that is that everybody says that is the most difficult part of the job. <laughs> I can see why. I just got to tighten everything up. Find my hat. All right, just one last thing to do, and that is to put on the tips right here. So we'll just kind of, I guess we can undo it. Would you believe, turns out that this bolt on this clamp is actually a different size bolt than the one on the other clamp. Go figure, right? So uh, the one on the muffler itself is a 15. This one is actually a 17 millimeter here for the tip, which is wretched overkill for a, for a tip, but hey man, you know, whatever, whatever it takes, right? Let's work this thing off of here, this guy, get this guy off of there, it does look very nice though, I'll give it that much, let's, uh, yeah. all right you guys, we're all set, let's go fire this thing up and see what it sounds like.
so far nice and smooth. You can already hear the throatiness. Of course, it's going to take a little while for that exhaust to uh, kind of kind of work itself in. Well, you can already hear the the lowness. There it is. I have to admit, that sounds pretty nice. It's not over the top. It just sounds smoother. I like that a lot. Well, you guys, obviously the job was really easy. I mean, it was a clamp, two rubber hangers, and uh, bolting on a couple of tips. From start to finish, this took me all of, eh, I don't know, 20 minutes maybe? I mean, this was nothing. Super, super easy, basic hand tools and it makes a real difference in how my Jeep now sounds out on the road. You can do it too. If you like what you saw here, hey, do me a favor, click that like button, subscribe to it, because you know we're always doing more projects down here in the shop. And you can find me on Facebook and on Instagram at the John Hammer. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks, guys. See you, bye.